Hi guys, you're welcome to Deliver Studios. This is another episode of Android Programming. I'll be talking about uploading files to Dropbox using the core API in an Android application. Dropbox is, is a file hosting service that allows users to keep and share documents, photos, videos safely. You no know, user can access their photos, uh, documents, video, etc. anywhere using Dropbox. You no, know, it's a cloud services that actually houses uh, any of your documents. In this particular application, we're going to be integrating the Dropbox uh, SDK, uh, Android SDK into uh, our application, whereby it's going to allow us access to upload uh, some files from our mobile device to the Dropbox uh, cloud service account. So we need to download the core API, the core APIs which are the Dropbox Android SDK and we also need to download the JSON simple jar file. All this will be included in the libs uh, directory of the app uh, of this particular uh, Android application. But before going to the Android Studio where we are explaining the source files, we need to create an application and register it, get our get uh, the keys that we actually needed, the app key and the app secret from the Dropbox console. So that takes us down to the Dropbox console where we're going to uh, launch this in our browser. I'm using the Google Chrome. Uh, we're going to visit www.dropbox forward slash developers forward slash apps. You get to this kind of interface and uh, we have to create an, a, a new application for this uh, integration. So you click on the create app uh, button once uh, you click on that, okay, we have access to choose an API. So we have the Dropbox API for apps that need to access files in Dropbox. Uh, we need Dropbox Business API for apps that need access to Dropbox Business Team Info. Actually, we need the Dropbox API, not uh, the uh, Business API anyway. So the second module is choose the type of access you need. App folder or full Dropbox. In the app folder, you're going to access to a single file folder created specifically for your application. Uh, the full Dropbox, uh, you access to all files and folders in a user's Dropbox. So you can actually pick any one of these. Uh, let's, let's check on the full Dropbox. And uh, we're going to name our application. Uh, let's call it the Dropbox Tech. That's cool. And we create the app. We click on the create app. Oh, uh, we're having, so we should please update your app name to compile. To comply with the branding guidelines definitely because i had a uh, dropbox uh, let me just use my name. the lyric test create application here we go we have the development users uh we have a uh, the permission type, uh, we have our app key and we can add, actually reveal the app secret as well. Once you, once you click on this show uh, link, it's going to reveal your secret. We have the authentication to uh, the chooser saver domain, the web hooks and their access to delete uh, the particular application. So by default, our uh, app is in a development status and has all the features available to use as a production status. So all the limitation of development status in, uh, can be used by the test users. So app can be used by up to 100 test users in development status. So this development status. So to make app uh, accessible to test users, you're going to click on uh, enable additional users button. So if you want to share app with the world, you're going to apply for production status. So this is actually development. So let's enable uh additional users uh, you click on okay so your additional users can have access to this and if you are 
pushing your application to stores or uh, uh, you need to apply for production so we're still going to leave our development our status here so afterwards uh we'll be moving straight to uh android studio what we need to is uh uh, register the app key and the app secrets. There's a passion in the source files that we need to actually uh, copy this out and paste it into the uh, application. So stay tuned. Now we are moving to Android Studios. Uh, in our Gradle script, the model app session, we get to look at the dependencies uh, that were used. We have the two compiles which is the Dropbox XDK and the JSON simple 1.1 point uh, the Java file. So we all have them in the, the libs folder. I'll try quickly show you how the libs directory is. Uh, you find it in your app module, the libs. Can you notice the Dropbox Android SDK 1.6.3 is a Java file. Also the JSON simple 1.1 uh, Java file. No, we have to include those uh, dependencies right there. Once you have this, you synchronize your Gradle and you get your uh, application ready for uh, implementation. Now let's look at the rest, the layout files, the activity main XML, which is the UI uh, XML of this particular application. There's a relative layout with the layout with an height match parent, the bottom left, right, top paddings are all 16 dps and that's the button just the button what about we are send an id to it called upload file with layout with tonight match parent and wrap content respectively uh the text on it is upload file and it has an android on click which is the upload file take cognizance of that uh from here we'll be going to the java class uh, we only have a java class called main activity which uh, actually holds uh, this integration. We imported the Dropbox API, the Android authentication session, the app key pair. The main activity extends the app compact activity where we replace, no, you're gonna replace the app key, no, with the app key you gotten from the uh, Dropbox console. The same thing goes for the app secret, you review your app secret and get it uh, pasted over here. They are all private string. We have the uh, the Dropbox API. No, this uh this is the Android authentication session. The uncreate method I uh, call on the super uncreate uh seven states and set its content view to the layout activity may have just talked about. Uh, we have the callback method initialize session. Uh, so what's this initialize session method doing? It actually stores the app key and the secret key. And uh, it's passed the key pair to the new Dropbox object called MDB API. And uh, at this session, you get your session and you start the authentication of this particular uh, class, activity class. We have the upload files that call on the uh, new upload method and you get that executed. So what's this upload method doing? Extends the async tax. Uh, after we unprotect, unpre execute, uh, and this is going to run in background, doing background. Uh, what we have to try and catch where we're going to define the path of the file to be uploaded. Uh, this is actually directing uh, the uh, to an image file right inside your Android device. This part is actually to your Android device or emulator because we are actually picking up a file from uh, probably your storage, your internal storage, anywhere it might be sitting in your Android device and uploading uh in this particular session you can even uh improve make this code rather more complex by calling on the uh the file chooser pick up your uh, appropriate file if it's probably you want to set up to a mime type of png or, or or text you know you can actually uh give that instruction i have uh, a tutorial that actually covers uh the file chooser in an android application you can you know get yourself working and uh do some stuff with it but for this uh tutorial it's basic and simple i'm picking up an images file from my uh sd card which is on the device so you should actually do that to fit your device or to fit your emulator and there's an exception to catch here which is to actually print to strays and the on post execute if the result is empty no, if it was the false, just to say file uploaded, 
and if not, should come back with a graceful message. Let's look at the manifest of this particular integration. Uh, this manifest, we included the user's permission, the internet, write external storage, and also read external storage. Very important. Look at the activity included here. We call on the name come the Dropbox client to Android authentication uh, activity. Also, it causes theme because uh, this day is uh, ensuing intent, and it has an intent filter that is going to change. You have to change the DB uh, passing your app key over here, and uh, you get the name, the browsable, and set the category to default. Once you have set this intent filter. Is okay and uh, you have your manifest ready you know to go so I'll be uploading the source file of this application to my uh, github account I'm sorry for my good listeners for not furnishing you with the source code immediately or uploading uh, this video but I uh, will try as much as possible to make that quick and uh, we'll always include it uh, in the description or in the more session of this uh, uh, video so that you can be able to pick up uh, the source file easily and immediately after watching the, the tutorial. And I'll be showing these uh, screencasts of my device, you know, whereby I get to uh, implement uh, this particular integration and tested it on the real device. So I'll be showing the, screen, the screencast of my uh, device and I'll be uploading this to the GitHub account. Thank you very, very much for hanging out with me throughout this tutorial. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.